Is this thing on? Hi. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I've tried to make this video. I've filmed it at least three times. Maybe the fourth, fourth time is a charm. Maybe I'm just talking because I turned on the camera. Um, I started another YouTube channel actually. It's all about reading stories to kids. Um, and I was working on some of the intros and outros of the books that I'm reading. And the camera was up, hair's done, lipstick on. And I thought, why not just um, start talking because I've got all this footage filmed. I have got years worth of videos uh, that I could edit and I just need the words to say, hey, I'm going to try this thing. But I can't just jump in because my life looks radically different than it did the last time you saw me. Um, pretty much everything in my world has changed. Let's talk first about physical appearance. I have let my hair go completely gray got some bangs <laughs> um and i got braces that's the other thing i'm working on straightening my smile i am almost at the end of it uh, i had invisalign for in july it'll be two years um but it just wasn't working at totally moving the overcrowdedness of my front teeth and so last week we could go today actually um I got clear braces on the top to finish that refinement work and uh, pretty soon I'm gonna have a straight smile and there's something I don't know if you can hear the fire trucks ambulances whatever's happening out there but we're just gonna roll with this I live near a hospital right now uh, and so that is a very frequent noise that I hear so uh, speaking of living near a hospital uh, I no longer live in my former home I will have been in this place now for two years. Um, this is the part that things get hard. Um, a difficult marriage became untenable. Uh, I just couldn't keep doing it. Some things were happening. And I chose myself, and I chose my kids, and I chose to get out of a situation that was hurting me. Not physically hurting me, um, but emotionally uh, destroying me. And um, I made that decision to move out. And my kids and I moved half an hour away and set up them in a whole new school. Um, and oh yeah, I was five months pregnant. Um, and I have a new little guy named Jack. He is been the healing balm of um, a really difficult season of life and he has been just such a joy and he's been the reason that I can get out of bed and that I can smile. Um, walking through grief and trauma and heartache as a mom um, and managing that with older kids uh, is so hard. It's really hard to do it with young kids. It's hard to do it pregnant. It is just hard. Um, and there's a lot of things behind the scenes uh, that one day I believe I will talk about and I will share what God has done in my world, in the world of my family, um, and what he has brought us all through. But I'm not in a place yet uh, because there's another half of me and there are other people in my life, my kids, um, family members, and my husband. Um, and uh, one day we will tell the good things that God has done and what he's brought us through. But for now, um, that is just tucked away here. Uh, we're all doing really great. In fact, the past two, almost, well, two plus years have been hell. They have been really, really difficult. Um, I went on a stress leave at work and um, I'm actually no longer employed by the church. I did resign, um, which is hard because I loved my job. I loved being a kid's pastor. It was, I really feel like God had equipped me to do that job. Um, I loved it. And I would 
love the opportunity to do that again. But I believe that God called me out of it. I believe I was there for a season um, and things just didn't work out for me to return. Um, and so it's in a, I'm in a weird limbo sort of situation now um, because of that. But God is a sustainer and he has sustained and provided for my kids and I in just such incredible ways. And it's been so amazing to see how he's done that. And that'll be part of the story that I tell um, of the goodness of God in the midst of the most crushing circumstances. I walked through immense grief, immense trauma, immense heartbreak. Um, and God has just made me new. Um, and I don't know what he wants to do with all of that yet. I don't know. But I prayerfully offer it back to him and say, God, I will do, and I will be, and I will speak, and I will do whatever it is that you would have me do with these broken pieces that you have mended. And that I can be able to tell tale of the goodness of God and the sustaining of God and the healing balm that is God and the Redeemer, the Redeemer of the broken. I, for a long time, viewed my life as this dark gray mountain. Everything was just gray and dark and hard and it was like a sheer rock that I was climbing and there were crags that I was, you know, putting my hands and feet in to climb up this very sheer face of a mountain. And I could look down and I could see the broken and shattered pieces of my life. Like literally I had a vision of my, my life that I was standing, um, I was standing in a forest and where the foundation of my home, the foundation of my world had been was just rubble and black ash but there was bits of grass that was coming up that was green and there was life there and I knew that I knew that I knew even in those darkest of days that God was going to sustain and carry me through and that he was my foundation. My home wasn't my foundation. My marriage wasn't my foundation. My relationship wasn't my foundation. My kids weren't my foundation. My foundation was first and foremost in Jesus Christ. And that's the only reason I can stand here today and tell you that I did scale the top of that mountain. And for a long time, I thought the top of the mountain was where I needed to get, that I would get to that precipice place and I would look out and I would be able to see that I had made it. I wasn't alone it was God lifting me up and pulling me through and out of this hellish place that I had been but one day I was privy to see that there was another side of that mountain and on the other side there were butterflies and there were birds tweeting and there was sunshine and there was lush green grass and trees and there was laughter and joy and rainbows it was all the beauty that you can imagine and I was running free and laughing and there was this inexplicable joy that was surrounding me nothing on my own accord that I could have done let me tell you I have done therapy I've done group therapy I have read so many books I've gone through seminars and I have gone through um, coaching and I have gone through podcasts and all of this trauma work and healing and I've gone through classes and I've met other women and I've <sighs> followed along people who have been where I have been and I've walked along in the footsteps that they have laid out before me and I've gone down this path and God used all of that but it was also me just leaning into him fully laying back and letting him take control I have a sign above my bed that I found I remember I Instagrammed this because it was just so amazing it was just shortly after moving in here um, and I was walking through HomeSense which is like it was just home goods here in Canada 
and I had my AirPods in because I couldn't listen to music that was playing because I was, it was just so triggering and I was just on a hairpin of emotions. And I walked down this one aisle and there was this sign and it said, he restores my soul, Psalm 23 verse three. And I just started to cry right there in home sense. Like that stuff just isn't there. Like Hobby Lobby, yes, but home sense or yeah, home sense in Canada, mm -mm. there's not a whole lot of biblical reference. And I knew that that sign was put there for me and I purchased it that day and I hung it above my bed and I knew that my place where I would be living was going to be the place where God was gonna restore my soul. And oh friends, he has. And there is some really good stuff coming on the horizon and part of the reason I even wanted to turn on the camera was to share with you the goodness of God and what is to come and who I am now. That old Mandy, I love her so much, but she has been buried and she is gone. And I weep in some ways because she tried her best and she lived a life that she really liked, but she's gone. And I've had to grieve that and I've had to grieve a lot of life, a lot of things that I feel have been taken from me, physical things, but also um, emotional things, things of, that made me who I was. I felt them strip away, but God in his goodness has just rebirthed something new and I'm still learning who she is. I'm still figuring out who she is and friends, let me tell you, like this is like practical work. It's not just like airy fairy. I am journaling through questions, I'm reading books, I'm discovering the path that God has set before me of who he's called me to be. And part of that is why I'm turning on this camera. I don't think that I have anything in my life that I could be like, here, let me teach you. Here, I'm an expert at this. Here, let me just give you all of my knowledge because I know a whole lot about something. I don't. Guys, I struggle right along with anyone who's struggling. Um, I got a pile of laundry at my feet. My bathroom needs cleaned. Like I've got a pile of dishes in the sink. There are things in my world that I could tweak those systems. I could work and I could toil and I could do all this stuff to make way better. And we're gonna probably walk through some of that together here on my channel. Um, but what I can bring to the table is someone who just wants community and encouragement and to say, friend, let's just get up and do this together. Like, turn on your YouTube, let's just talk today. Let's just hang out. You're doing your dishes, I'm doing my dishes. Let's talk. Let's encourage one another. Let's, let's just do life together. There's going to be a whole lot of fanciness here, y'all. I am a mom of a 16-month-old. I don't have time to be moving around my camera and trying to get all the best angles. Like, I love beautiful videos. And I really, like, that's part of the fun of YouTube for me. Um, but I have to be really realistic about my time. This is nap time right now, and my little guy's going to be up any minute now um, and so I'm gonna have to click off of here and I may not have finished everything I want to say but that's just the reality of my life right now and so I'm hoping that the people that will come to my channel and the people that I have built relationship with um, who've been following me for years uh, that we connect on Instagram and we're chatting in DMs and you're commenting on my stuff and some of you, like, we've become really good friends. Um, I hope that when you come to my channel, when you come to Sweetly Home, it's like just hanging out with a girlfriend. My camera kicked off. <clears throat> that coming to Sweetly Home is like hanging out with a girlfriend for a while. That you will pour yourself a cup of coffee and you will just be refreshed. That there is no... There's no desire for you to show up here and long for a lifestyle that I'm trying to portray that I can't even attain. That I'm not shoving links down your throat to buy stuff for me to generate an income. 
maybe at one point I'll share some products that I absolutely love and want to really talk about that have enhanced my life or maybe there'll be a sponsorship that I can like really get behind. That's not why I'm here. Um, and that's not even where I want to go. You're not going to find me on Instagram with reels. You're not going to find me like trying to promote myself. Y'all, I'm actually going to turn off the comments um, because YouTube can be a really dark and scary place in the comment section. And I don't want to wake up every day worrying what someone is going to say to me. Uh, who's going to misconstrue something I've said or have a comment about my gray hair or how I've um, done something uh, and want to just give their opinion and try and tear me down. Uh, I talked about on my Instagram today, I don't want to show up to the internet with my armor suit on. I want to show up soft and gentle and who I actually am, who I want to show up into the world as. I and someone armored up is not who I want to be. I don't want to have anyone looking for those chinks in my armor. You can come follow me on Instagram and you can reach me anytime in my DMs. And I've done it so specifically that you actually have to message me. I don't even have commenting turned on for my Insta stories. You have to come and actually message me. And I set aside specific time where I can answer or talk uh, in those messages. And they really are open. Um, I also have my email address listed in the description box. Um, where we can actually really talk uh, and it's not just a comment on whatever. Um, it's not that I don't want that dialogue in the comment section, it's that I just want this to be a peaceful and protected place as much as I can be. Because one thing that I have learned, I very naively looked at the world through rose-colored glasses and I really thought that if you just showed up as a genuine and kind person that's how the world would receive you and that's how you would be treated and i learned that uh, there's some really nasty people in this world really cruel people who are probably just really broken and really unhealed and uh, you're getting a healed version of myself i have tried to turn on this camera like i said i filmed this four times and I've said very different things than what I'm sharing with you now uh, but those were unhealed versions of Mandy and she couldn't show up here uh, and be an encouragement and be an equipper and be a friend and be someone that would put forth something that I would one day look back and be like glad I said that glad I'm there I feel like I would look back on those videos and be hesitant about what I had shared and not even that I was oversharing anything about my situation or the people in my life, but just that I was coming from a broken place. And I think that even though I have thought about reopening my channel every single day since I last posted, uh, God has protected me from that. And that's kind of just all coming to me as I'm chatting with you right now. I think that God has just given me the desire, but also told me wait. And it wasn't that I was realizing that it's a wait, because I tried filming. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of footage. Uh, it's just that he removed that mantle from me for a while to show up here on the internet and to speak and to share in any capacity, even if it is just making food or uh, following along in my day-to-day -day life. There was more that needed to be worked out in me before I could actually just show up and say, hey, come along, come along, let's, let's spend the day together. Let's spend the next 20 minutes together. Hey, I'm feeling really fun. Let's spend an hour together today. <laughs> um, been a difficult season I lost my dad uh, next month it'll be three years he had stage four cancer and it was terrible it was terrible it was all throughout his body and we got the call in the beginning of March that he had cancer and in April he passed away and I was able to spend six weeks I mean this is the only time that you're probably ever gonna hear this phrase but thank God for the pandemic 
uh, it allowed me to one, have my kids home, two, I was working from home, and three, it created, well, Zoom was around before then, but it created this culture of people working online. And because our office was shut down, I was working at a church, it was shut down. Um, I could go to the United States and be with my dad and care for him and be with him in those final days. And there, that was a gift from God that, um, that I was able to do that. If life had looked differently, I wouldn't have been able to. And I cherish that time. It was heartbreaking. It was hard. Losing a parent changes you. And if you've got, walked that experience, there is just a knowing and a hurt there that you experience with someone else who's lost a parent. And my heart is with you if that has been you. I'm on the crest of some other really big life changes that are coming along and they have the potential to be some really great changes. Um, life's gonna look different uh, for me and I'm really excited for the first time. I am really excited for what the future looks like and this is something that's been a long time coming. Y'all, I was broken. I'm still working through things. I don't feel that I've arrived yet, but I am not at all in the same place I was. And that is, it feels like a weight has been lifted. So, um, yeah, my kids are doing good. We've got our own unique challenges that we're dealing with with some s certain things. And I walk that line very closely because one thing that I know is that I will not be filming my kids. Um, you may see them here and there, like especially for like taking a trip or something like that, but I will be very careful about what I share online about them. Um, I've had a bit of a heart change in regards to kids on the internet. Um, and while I won't, shy away from showing my children um i will you'll see them very very limited uh and anything that they're dealing with very limited and the thing is is that it's interesting because we're walking through some situations that if i put them out on the internet it is likely something that could create a lot of clicks and a lot of views and follows and things of that nature <clears throat> but i don't want any part of that my only thing that I want to be able to share is my journey as a mom walking through hard things with my children, not what my children are walking through. This is about me. And this is about how I'm showing up to the table and about how I am gathering the fragments of my life and looking at this new vessel that God has created. There's this Japanese art called Kintsugi and it's basically where there's like a pot that has been broken and it's mended back together with gold. And that is the picture of my life. Anyone who's been shattered and then walks to the other side of healing knows what I'm talking about. And I'm still learning what the pattern of this gold is looking like in my life. And I'm still learning what this new vessel looks like because it's different than what it was before. And so we're going to walk on that journey together. And my hope is that, you know, we can do this thing <laughs> together. You may not have walked through anything that has like ripped your world apart. And praise God for that. Praise God for that. <sighs> but I'm an open book. And I think that if you've turned on this video, I'm hoping and praying that you find some value here. Um, I'm excited for what's to come couple of housekeeping things. First, I mentioned no comments. I know that's going to like hurt my, the algorithm and all of that jazz. So feel free to always like and subscribe. And I always hesitated to say this and I don't even want to say it, but if you feel like subscribe, like hitting that little bell, feel free. But I personally don't do that in my own life. I have almost all notifications turned off on my phone. Um, I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> I will visit my social media or my YouTube videos or whatever when I have the time and when I feel it's right. 
so don't feel any need to do that but liking and subscribing really does help my channel so um feel free to do that um and like i said the comments will be off feel free to come see me on instagram i will always have that um linked all over my channel so come follow along um i also have another channel <laughs> for those of you who have uh kids i have a a uh, new channel called Little and Loved Stories and it's me reading stories to kids and I have some ideas of um, other videos that I'm going to do that will kind of encompass story reading uh, for kids and you know what maybe adults but maybe we'll do that down the road on a bit of a different uh, channel. I shared recently that I've always wanted to get into voice work um, it would be my dream to voice a cartoon. Uh, that's probably never going to happen, but if you have connections, feel free to give me a call. I would love to voice a cartoon. Um, but I also would love to do like voice books and training manuals and, um, <laughs> And commercials um, I would love to do that kind of thing so I'm kind of dipping my toe in there so if you want you can follow along at little and loved stories and you can hit that subscribe button there um, if you if you want anyways I think that's it life has been really tough but we're uh, moving to the other side of it and I'm really excited for what's to come um, Thank you for sticking around, guys. Thank you. I know it's been a long journey. I've been on YouTube for a really long time. Um, I just had a Facebook memory pop up yesterday, actually, and I was so excited to see that it was uh, 2015 that I had 140 subscribers. And um, I'm just so excited that y'all are here. Some of you are, may have been in that original 140. And I just want to thank you for hanging around with me for that long and for being a part of this. There is so much that you could be watching uh, in your time. TikToks and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and just TV. <laughs> um, there's so many places where you could spend your valuable one precious life. And I'm so grateful that you are taking that time to just to show up here and to pray for me and to root for me and to um, be my friend. So thank you guys. I will, uh, oh, I thought of one thing. <laughs> this is, a, I, that was a great way to wrap up, but there's one thing that I really wanna share. Kate, I've told you that like I have uh, filmed a ton of videos over the years and I don't want to just delete all of that footage because there's a lot of recipes and things like that that I filmed um, and I don't want to lose that and so I think that eventually I'll work through a lot of those videos and I will put them up on my channel but I will mark them in some way I'll be like I'll put like archives or something in the title so you know that <laughs> I'll look a little different um, and maybe like my scenery will look different I mean I y'all have videos from my old house too so um, I, I don't <laughs> I don't want to just get rid of all of that but maybe I do I don't know if I post them they'll be under I'll have it it'll say archives so you know anyways I should probably get my little man. He's probably awake. I need something to. My camera keeps cutting out on me. It's saying you've talked long enough. And we think that we need to shut this off to save the battery. Little do they know. <laughs> I am really actually talking here. <sighs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will see you in my next video.